Good evening, I'm Tina Tyshaw. And I'm Ben Singer. Thank you for joining us tonight. New tonight, Savannah Mayor Ben Johnson is rolling back the city's mask mandate. That decision coming after a major decline in cases. So after a surge during the summer months uh, because of the Delta variant, WSAV News 3's Brian Gallery is joining us now with more on where things stand tonight. Mm -hmm. Mayor Van Johnson reduced the mask mandate to a mask advisory. Now, despite the change, residents are still strongly encouraged to wear masks when necessary. Based on when Chatham County's current COVID uh, status, uh, yesterday I reduced Savannah's mask mandate to a mask advisory. Savannah Mayor Van Johnson rolling back mass requirements as the infection rate continues to trend downward. Mayor Johnson says a mandate could be reinstated pending the possibility of a holiday surge. We will continue to follow the science. So if we have to go there, our numbers take us back over 100, then we might be back in mass again. The mandate will be put back in place if cases rise above 100 on the transmission index. However, the mayor remains optimistic now that vaccination rates among city workers continue to improve after the $500 incentive program ended on Monday. I'm excited. Uh, I'm almost giddy to announce that 1,500 employees, nearly 70% of our workforce is fully vaccinated. That is exactly near where we want it to be. I think it puts our workplace in a much stronger position. Despite the vaccination progress, Mayor Johnson shared this message for those who remain unvaccinated. And we'll talk about what happens as it relates to those that are not vaccinated. As I've said before, I think people have the right to choose um, whether it be vaccinated or not. I think that we have a responsibility to make sure our health insurance plan remains solid. And so uh, stay tuned um, as we address that side of the puzzle. I looked into COVID-19 cases being reported by the state. There were only 12 reported today in Chatham County and 19 in the Coastal Health District. Nine patients are being treated in the hospital. Brian Gallagher, WSAV News 3, on your side.